Hey you guys and happy Sunday. I am about to head into church. I'm in front of church actually. And I've got to unload all the stuff that I brought because we're gonna be um, packaging up all the stuff that we bought for the homeless care packages. You know, all that stuff that I bought at Dollar Tree the other day. Yeah, so we're gonna be putting those into packages and hopefully making um, a lot of people feel better about being, not better about being homeless, because that sounds weird, but I'm just saying like make their, their situation a little bit better. So, everybody's showing up, I'm gonna go, and I will see you guys in a minute. So the goal is to at least get like one protein, Upper cabinets will have glass fronts on this side, and then the lower cabinets are that dark Westchester gray. Hey guys, I don't know if I ended the vlog yesterday. And I don't know if I kind of recapped what happened because it was a fun day. It is February 11th, Monday. It's 7.38 in the morning. I'm about to jump in the shower, but I thought I need to finish yesterday's vlog before I start today's vlog. So, yesterday morning, we went and got gas. Marvin pumped gas for me because it was cold and raining outside. And then I went to church because the Several of the ladies from the church were going to be packaging up some items like some necessities for homeless care packages. And what that entailed is just basically we all brought stuff like we brought protein bars or cheese crackers or panty liners or deodorant, bar soap, toothbrush, toothpaste, combs, chapstick. Uh, what else did they have? Socks, we brought socks, not my cat socks, but socks. And what else did we have in there? Cause they, they were stuffed, like some of them were really stuffed. Batteries, and well, I'm not really sure about the batteries. I don't know what you use them for. I'm sure something. And then it just, my mind's not really kind of going to like what you would use that for. And what else did they have? Cause they had other stuff out. Oh antibiotic ointment, band-aids, just like some basic necessities that you don't think about not having if you're not homeless, but if you're homeless, it's kind of like a thing. So we all brought stuff and then we just, we laid it out. We put all the, you know, band-aids together. We put all the, all the stuff together. And then that way we were creating care packages and we just took these gallon Ziploc bags and went around the tables and stuffed them with things with until they were like full and then we you know zip locked them up and we put them over in a pile and at the end of the morning we all took home like maybe five or six of the the packages and then we're going to use them to if we see homeless out in the city like some of us work in dallas some of us well even there's homeless in mesquite so if we see homeless people out and about then we can give them one of those care packages and hopefully help them a little bit, especially because it's cold right now. We ha oh, we had blankets too. Some of them, some of the care packages come with blankets. So anyway, we're just going to give this and hopefully bless someone and help them a little bit. And yeah, it's going to be kind of like an ongoing thing, not just, not just this week, but we had some leftover items. So we'll start gathering and collecting items again and then in another few weeks do some more care packages. So uh, I thought that was a really good thing um, because like one of the things in there was panty liners and you don't think about it 
because, or like if you're like me, you're not really gonna think about something like that because you're, you're just, uh, what do you call it? Like you're so used to having the conveniences just right, you know, if you run out of pads, oh, I'll just go to the store and get some more. But a homeless person doesn't really have that luxury. And it, it's kind of weird to think about having like feminine products as being a luxury, but it is. So, yeah, especially if you're homeless. And so that, I don't know, it was just kind of a cool morning um, being able to like prepare packages that are going to minister and bless somebody else. So I'm looking forward to the opportunity to give out those care packages and bless someone. And then, so after that, then we went home uh, because we drove separate cars and we stopped by the, the house and saw the painting in progress. They had the barn door. I was so excited. I, I love how it looked. I'm so excited. And then they have uh, the, the cabinets painted that Westchester gray and it looks, well, it was under plastic wrap, but it looked fabulous. I was so excited about that. And the white uppers are looking really, really spiffy. And so, yeah, it still smells like horrendously like paint in there, obviously, because they're still painting. But they had the repost gray on the wall. I just, it's coming together, you guys. It's coming together. So they should be done painting by Wednesday-ish. And then I think by Thursday, Friday, they're supposed to be putting in the countertops. So that's going to be exciting to see the quartz go in and the granite go in the rest of the house. So that's going to be fun, too. And then uh, what else did we do? I think that was it for the new house. So then we went to our nephew's house. He was hosting a birthday party for his dad, my husband's brother, and it was a 75th birthday party. So we went there, they had brisket, they had ribs, they had macaroni and cheese, they had potato salad, they had, what else did they, beans? It was good, it was really good. And it was really nice to be able to see Marvin just getting to see his brothers because uh, another brother showed up too. Uh, he's one of 10 kids. So anyway, uh, he was able to see another brother and some nieces and nephews. So it was really, it was really a fun day. We spent several hours there actually, but we were, you know, just all talking and catching up. So it was fun. And then we came home because I had to do work. I had a contract that I was working on. I was periodically having to kind of step out and, you know, answer some questions and things like that. But, um, so I came home and I worked on some, a package for that new listing that I just went on on Saturday and provided him some information. And I also got a repairs request amendment or repairs request wasn't in, in the amendment form yet, but from the buyer of our house. And so we're going through that to see what we're going to agree to do and what we're going to give a concession for maybe. And, and what we're just going to say, no, we're not going to fix that. Um, maybe we'll fix it all. Who knows? We have to kind of look at it and analyze it and see how much it'll cost us and, and what, what we can do. So that's just part of the process. We knew it was coming, but you know, we were kind of hoping that it would just be like, Oh, we love the house. We don't care what's wrong with it. Let's go. So, but the house is not perfect. It was, it was built in 79. So it's a little older, but we love the house anyway. So I worked through that a little bit and <clears throat> that's what I'm going to finish up today. And I'm going to finish up some comps for the other listing that I'm working on that'll be coming a little bit later down the road. So that's what happened yesterday. It was a fun day. It was, it felt kind of like a long day though, just because, uh, normally we're just at home and I'm getting other things done. And so, but we were at the nephew's house, so I wasn't getting all these things done, but it's fun. It was a, it was a fun day. Well worth it. Spending time with family is always a good thing. So I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here because I'm about to start the next one. And I am so far behind on editing, but you know, Hey, it is what it is. I'm still having fun sharing what's going on. And I actually can't wait to edit some of these older vlogs and get them put up because I'm like, I'll get to see the progress of the house, you know, and kind of like relive those moments, even though they just like literally just happened. But I don't know. It's kind of cool to see the progression of the house from when we had a vacant lot and there were trees we had to take down and now we're about to put in countertops. So it's, it's really kind of amazing. And I'm, I really appreciate you guys coming along for the journey. So I hope you guys have a great night, great day, whatever time you're watching this. I hope whatever time of the day, it's awesome for you. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.